Hi guys, welcome to the teaching and learning. Today with the new lesson, new te teaching and learning theory. It's a layered sensory theory. Lesson 46. So guys, in this lesson, I'll be telling you who was layered, Dugan layered and uh, what uh, theory he has given, what was his uh, field of studies and how this sensory theory works in the classroom. Before that, if you didn't subscribe the teaching and learning, press the subscription button. If you want more videos like that, press the bell icon. Your comments will be highly appreciated. So guys, let's see what is uh, Laird's sensory theory. We know that for teaching and learning, we need to use our brain. We need to use our senses. The question is that are we using using all senses or just few senses? If we are using few senses, how much percentage do we use? And what senses we use? And what is the role of the senses in learning? So in this video, I'm going to tell you the layers theory he said that the learning takes place when there's uh, the use of senses. If there's no use of senses, then there's no learning. So some activities in the classroom, sometimes students in the classroom feel sleepy, they make noise, they couldn't concentrate, they feel boring. What is the purpose of that? So I'll be telling you in this thing. So before that, who was layered? He was born in uh, Iowa, a uh, U.S. states in 1921. He was a pioneer of the training and uh, human resources development. So we call also the HRD. This is a brief introduction. He said, Laird says that the learning takes place when the senses are stimulated. What he said? Laird states that learning occurs when senses, five senses are stimulated. What are the five senses? You can see here the five senses. Sight, hearing, touch, smell and taste. How many senses? Five senses. So these five senses are playing an important role in the learning. How? Let's see. How these five senses, you know. Means while you are in the classroom that you have to be active. This is the active, uh, the uh, use of senses. Or teacher has to, you know, plan and organize or make interesting activities in order to make active learning or enforce the students to be active. These are the two uh, different uh, approaches which a student and teacher has to comply in order to use these five senses. Let's see the percentage of these senses. This is the uh, Degan Laird's book the approaches to training and development he mentioned in his book and he mentioned that how many uh, percentage of the senses uh, we use in his research then he said seeing is a 75 percent hearing is a 13 percent however the rest of senses touch taste and smell are used 12 percent in order to take the learning so here 75% seeing, 13% hearing and 12% smell, taste and touch. The question is, how? What if? If we have the practical class and what if we have the theoretical class? Okay. It is possible when we have a practical class. We see students are active because they have to do the different things they have to think 
they use these skills what about theoretical class how we can enforce how we can increase in the theoretical class this imagine so it's very easy to teaching practical class in order to active these five senses senses but it's very hard at the same time while you are teaching the theoretical subject including history psychology including uh what other uh, subjects we can cultural studies and uh, civilization these type of the uh, subjects these are the theoretically they have a more explanation about that you know but science and uh, other chemistry physics like this bio these are the experimental subjects so you can easily you know because in that one you are enforcing theoretical studies you are enforcing students to memorize it so whenever you have a theoretical class what a teacher has to do teacher has to make more interesting plan fun and interesting activities that learner can enjoy that learner i should remember the topic better but if you're going to enforce to listen to you listen your lecture that there will be no learning place there will be students will be sleepy they might get bored and they might annoy you they might give you a tough time in the classroom so while you are in the theoretically try to make a fun and interesting activities in order the students can think that you enjoy your session they can uh, uh they can use their brain proper okay they have if there is interesting they want to see they want to speak they want to uh feel and that type of the things will uh help to use uh, the uh, five senses so these things all are the relating with the our uh, five senses so if you want to uh, use these five senses okay uh, with the students to make more interesting and fun uh, relating our uh, topics in order that the students can enjoy so guys this is uh, was the layers theory sensory theory which are the based on the five senses what five senses are these seeing hearing touch smell test and how much we uh, use okay in his research work he found and how the practical and the theoretical class should be so we'll be meeting in the next lesson with a new topic with a new theme uh, till that by stay blessed stay safe but don't forget to subscribe the teaching and learning your subscription is my motivation i really appreciate and thankful thank you thank you so much for your subscription and keep subscribing my channel